This video was brought to you by the WhatNot app. Download the free WhatNot app today and participate in live auctions from your smart device. Funko Pops, Silver Age and Golden Age comics. There's Pokemon cards and participate in live auctions on the WhatNot app. Before I start this video, today, which is Friday, whatever today's date is, the 21st of October, 2022 today here in literally just a few hours is my whatnot live funko pop auction so tonight 6 p.m eastern time five central four mountain three pacific is my next funko pop auction which is exclusively on the whatnot app which is the number one selling platform for all of your collectibles there's a direct link down below in the description box you can download the completely free whatnot app make sure you follow me on there and that'll notify you every time i go live but also make sure you follow me here on youtube and on my instagram account always let everybody know when my next auction is so but right now there are buy it now pop grails available in the auction you can go ahead and buy these before the auction even starts during the auction today i'll be doing several giveaways some pop giveaways we'll have a lot of fun tonight 6 p.m eastern time don't be late. This is a $220 Funko Pop mystery box. Details. This is called the Boom Loot Epic Vaulted and Exclusive Mystery Boom Box. There's a total of six pops in here. The lowest possible return is 210 bucks. So I can lose $10 total. So it's pretty much guaranteed value. But you can get upwards of like four times your money back. So somebody's going to hit big, pretty freaking big. There's a total of, it didn't say how many boxes there were total. I don't see it, but all box conditions are near mint to mint condition. And there's no preview picture. I'm sure it's on their Instagram account. I'm just too lazy to go and look, but you ready to do this. Let's do this. I'm gonna quit gabbing. Everybody loves mystery boxes, right? So mystery boxes are a gamble. They are a gamble, pretty much a form of gambling. You're buying these boxes and you're hoping to get more than what you pay in terms of value. Sometimes you spend 100, you, you get back 300. Sometimes you spend 500, you lose half your money. This time I spent 220 and I'll be happy honestly if I get like $300 back, maybe a little bit more. Of course, I would love to get that top box with like four times your money i would not be too upset about that but here we go total of six boom boxes in here 220 dollars which makes each pop like what 30 60 90 like 35 36 37 dollars a pop something like that so doing the weight test i feel about the same i don't see i can't feel any difference we are ready to do this i know they usually don't put any pops in any kind of pop protectors either which is kind of crazy, kind of scary. That's just how they do it. But yeah, see, they're, they're all sealed up. They tape all these together. Let's do this. Break the seal. Boom loot. Boom box. Six pops. We'll do each like three pop, like boom box, and we'll go back after each three and look up value. See how I did. Here we go. You ready? First one. Come on, something big. Let's start big. Let's start big. Come on. I see a chase sticker in my camera window. Okay, we got the Trolls Branch Chase. So not anything like crazy expensive or anything, but I mean, it's probably worth like 25, 30 bucks. I mean, it's, it's a decent pop. It's not anything crazy, you know? You can't always get the big rails every time, even though, of course, we want them. You ready, pot number two? Oh, come on, box. Oh, I see Thor. Nice. We hit a good one. I will take it. Has like box fuzz on it. I know some people, they've asked me, why do you do this to the pops? The reason why, some of these like sorter boxes over time, as like the pop is in the box, box fuzz from the corner of the box, brown box fuzz kind of sticks to the pop window. And that's why sometimes you'll see me like go like this because I'm just like brushing off the box fuzz. I've heard a few people, or I heard, I've read a few comments where people are like, why does he do that? It's so weird. It's like he's treating it like it's it's like the biggest grill ever by, by 
wiping it off, but I'm like, no, like literally I'm just, I'm wiping off like box fuzz because it's stuck to it from the sorter box. But anyway, this thing is in fantastic shape. I think this is worth around like 90 bucks or so. I think it is, but hey, that is a fantastic freaking pop right there. I'll take that. That's a nice hit. Here we go. Last one. First three. And I see a sticker. He who remains from the Loki show. Shared sticker. Everything is very nice condition in this. Not complaining at all. Here we go. Let's see PPG value. I'm using the Hobby DB app to look up prices on all these pops, which is pretty much the price guide that we use to look up all of our pops. He who remains is $30. Next, we got Branch, the Trolls World Tour Chase. This one's coming in at 15 bucks. Not very expensive for a chase. Last one, Thor, with the SF Limited Edition sticker, Glow in the Dark. Coming in at 80 bucks, so grand total, looking at 125 for the first three pops. So, not too bad. I did not do too bad in this first three, and that Thor is freaking a sweet hit right there. I know I've already got one Chris Hemsworth signed pop that I got whenever I met him like three years ago, and uh, I've always liked that glow in the dark Infinity War pop. I've had him probably a dozen times now. That one's in fantastic shape. I might hold that one back to actually get signed in the future by Chris Hemsworth, because Chris does quite a few autograph signs, actually. He does quite a few. I know he just did another one. It just closed. Like, the ability to purchase just closed down a couple days ago. Uh, he was signing through, I think it was SWAU, or, yeah, SWAU, he, he was signing through. And uh, I think I'm actually going to hold on to that pop and get that one signed by Chris. I know he charges, was it 275 now, I think, for a signature? I think it's 275 Whenever I got his back in 2019, he was 175 So he's raised his price a little bit in the past few years. That just happens. I know some people, celebrities or B-list celebrities who charge, like, who should be charging like 20 bucks now are charging like 50 and 60 I know I've been to a few cons where I walk by and I'm like, this celebrity is charging like 80 bucks for an autograph. I'm like, you've appeared in one TV show with a minor role. You should be like 15, 20 bucks, but you're charging 80. But set your own prices. It's up to you. Here we go. Pun number four. I see a Pikachu. No, yeah, no. It is Pichu. That's the official WonderCon sticker also. And it says flocked. It is fuzzy. Okay, first one. Here we go. Pop number two. We have, I see a sticker. Oh, that's a nice one. Okay. We have the Dark Phoenix Chase. The Glow Chase. Fantastic shape. Glow Chase. Dark Phoenix. I don't think it's worth a whole lot anymore. I could be I could be wrong. Here we go. Last one. Pop number six in total. Last one. We have what is that? Roz. I have never seen the movie Monsters Inc., whatever it's called. It's a 2018. It's probably vaulted. We got Roz. Okay. Let's see PPG values last three pops. Pop number four, Roz. It's 28 bucks. It must be vaulted in, I guess. Next, we got the Dark Phoenix, Flame Wings, Glow in the Dark, Chase, coming in at 50 bucks. Last one, we got the Pichu Flocked. This is the actual WonderCon exclusive. This one's coming in at $41. Grand total, all six pops, We're looking at $244. I spent $220. In the grand scheme of things, I broke even. Because all these will be for sale. Actually, except for the Thor, I think. Everything else will be for sale in a future whatnot live auction. Actually, I'll probably have these for sale in my auction today. I'll go ahead and put them into my auction list. So, you want to buy these, they'll be available today at auction here in just a few hours. And all these, as you see, are in no pop protectors. So, I will make sure I put these into my preferred pop protector from sendboxpop.com, the Pop Shield Pop Protector. I use all those on my personal Funko Pops. You can, too. Join down below at sunboxpop.com to get yourself some of your very own pop shield pop protectors, whatnot, 
tonight, 6 p.m. Don't be late. We got fungal pops. I got giveaways. I'll see you then. This video was brought to you by the WhatNot app. Download the free WhatNot app today and participate in live auctions from your smart device. You can buy Funko Pops auction style, Silver Age and Golden Age comics. There's Pokemon cards, pack breaks, and box breaks. You can have sports cards ripped for you live that you purchase. Download the WhatNot app today and participate in live auctions on the WhatNot app.